We really are living in a crazy world when it comes to Marvel and everything that is happening within the MCU specifically. And this year, the hype train is not going to stop anytime soon. After already delivering three series to Disney Plus and Marvel's What If being next, two more will release by the end of the year. So thanks to Variety for having a brand new interview with Victoria Alonso, Marvel Studios VP who's been with Marvel for better part of 20 plus years. She talks about the future of Marvel Studios delivering more content, and she was asked about the rest of the year and what we can expect. She of course starts by hyping up the upcoming release of Marvel Studios What If and the different opportunities that show will provide, and goes into the details about more animated content, but then she did confirm that right now they are still going to be releasing two more Marvel series shows by the end of the year. Now she doesn't outright just confirm when or anything, but she does state that Hawkeye and Miss Marvel will be coming to the service before the year ends. Now in what order we don't really know, one would assume Hawkeye would be first because that one has wrapped, it is literally complete, they finished editing and everything. It is 100% done just sitting at Disney. Miss Marvel, on the other hand, is more effects heavy, and I'm assuming that's probably going to take a lot longer. So it's really not going to surprise me that if we see Hawkeye in like September or October, and then by December, we're getting Miss Marvel. So they can release it. And even if it goes on into 2022, a couple weeks into January, it still fits that mold, if you will, of releasing it by the end of the year. Now, I would say timing is also everything as well, and Black Widow is a major factor in releasing Hawkeye, because you really have to think about the fact that Yelena is going to be in the series. So you probably want that film on Disney+, Plus when you get to people watching the series, understanding who the character is, it just makes sense. Or maybe you don't even care and you just drop it on there and you let people discover Black Widow by themselves in October when it comes out on Disney+. Plus, And I believe it's October 6th. And then after that, drop Hawkeye, which again, still gives you plenty of time between Eternals and whatever else you're going to maybe shuffle around, maybe not, who knows. But it looks like she's definitely confident that it's making it by the end of this year, which tells me in this interview where obviously investors are going to see it, it's a reassurance to them. But if something shifts, it won't matter really because, well, the recent shows have gone far and beyond their expectations. 